Hey guys, Retro Badger here. This is the tactical version of the Durdostat. It's equipped with quantum torpedoes. Now, looking through the comments, the most heavily requested battle was against the Sovereign Clash refit, the Enterprise E. I also had requests for the Defiant, or two Defiants, and the Enterprise F, which I will do in future videos. This will be an interesting test for the newer style ships, as we're going to be going against one of the most powerful older ships. Okay, here we go. So, we have those quantum torpedoes now. Right. Oh, incoming. There we go. Ah, oh, now that's interesting. Can the Sovereign class fire more Quantums than us? They also look different as well. Are theirs more powerful? Hmm. The right angle. Yep, there we go. We're also right next to a moon from the looks of it. Wonder if we're going to end up in the atmosphere. Oh, they're coming close. Wow, this. This is pretty even. It really is. I like it how there's a tactical version of this ship as well. Could that be a new way of Starfleet making ships? So they make one design, but it has multiple uses? I mean, we saw that with the Nebula class a bit, didn't we? Oh, that's critical! Full reverse. Sir, their shield is draining. Not even sure why I'm going for the shield generator as it's not doing anything. I'll just go for the warp core. Sorry, Geordi. Well, looking at this, the Dirt of Stats, I mean, it is more advanced. It's what, how many years more advanced? 20? 25? Oh! There we go. Oh, they took our shields out with the explosion! Right, let's try that the other way around. We can't let that stand. <laughs> not the Enterprise-y. Not again. Right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, their forward shields are down to 30% already. Hmm, that's surprising. Very surprising. Yeah, those Quantums, they're much bigger on the Enterprise-E's. Whether or not that means they're more powerful, I don't know. I like to think so. case of wearing the shields down. Oh gosh, pull up, pull up. Luckily our aft shields are still there, roughly. Oh gosh. Well, we've still got full shields to that side, almost. 78%, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that, we've got the sensor array! Well, it is kind of just sticking out a bit. Where the deflector is. Well, there we go! 
Ooh. Right, that is a real tricky one to work out, if I'm honest. I like to think the Enterprise E just edged it by about 3%. What do you guys think? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.